Hey guys, how do I help here? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to show you how you can remove an Apple iOS security response. Now you may be asking why would I ever want to remove a security patch for my iPhone? Well yesterday, Apple released security response for iOS 16.5.1 as you can see right here. Now a couple of hours later, Apple pulled this security response, no longer making it available to download over the air on your iPhone, on your iPad, and on your Mac. Now this security response response was aimed to fix a WebKit issue for the Mac, the iPhone, and the iPads. However, a couple of hours later, various reports came in that this was breaking certain websites while using the Safari web browser, so Apple decided to pull the update. Now, if you did install the update, how can you remove the security response if you're having issues? Now, the reports claim that this security response breaks compatibility or logging with Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Zoom, and many other websites. So if you're trying to log into those websites, after installing this security response, then you need to remove it, right? For the meantime, until Apple decides to fix this issue and then reinstall it once Apple releases a new security response. So how do you uninstall a rapid security response for your iPhone, iPad, and Mac OS? Well, on your iPhone and iPad, simply just go into the settings application. You wanna head on over into general. Then you wanna tap into the about section here. And then you wanna go into iOS version, right there it is. And then right here you have it remove rapid security response right here if you click on here of course it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to remove it click remove and then restart your iphone and you no longer have the patch or the security response install onto your iPhone. Now, this is only for those of you that have this issue. According to Mac Rumors forums, a lot of users continue to report issues after installing the secure response. Safari will break with Facebook, Safari will break with Instagram, WhatsApp, and so many other websites. So if you are having issues, only if you were having issues, this is how you remove a secure response. And on your Mac, same thing, just go into your Mac settings, go into general, check the version number, and then uninstall the security response. Now, I'll update you guys as soon as apple makes another secure response available most likely be the letter b instead of the letter a so make sure you stay tuned for that i just wanted to make this super quick video on how to remove a rapid secure response for those of you having issues thank you for watching guys i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace